Hi, family. I am Stephanie Wade. I am Habasia. Helping your brothers and sisters in Africa is my baby. And that's the only bread that I'm going to be associated with in this lifetime. <laughs> oh. We will be working on projects starting sometime next year, according to how the donations are coming. If you feel like donating in the motherland to a 501c3 organization, it's www.hybasia.org. Habasia. And no, I did not take it from any Ethiopian, Habasia, or whatever. I didn't know anything about that word before it just came into my head from the ancestors, you know. And the whole thought was helping who when I was trying to think of the the uh, organizational name. And I say who, and then who I wanted to help was my brothers and sisters where in Africa. And that's what I did once I wrote it down, the acronym, the acronym spelled out Habasia. And it's not about charity, it's about empowerment, guys. Empowerment, but with a empowerment, you already are associating with people who are trying to get themselves to another level and what may be holding them back is just their skill set or just merely not able to afford the supplies to build the business or to get started in the first place. Maybe they're apprenticed under someone and they're very good, but they don't have their own tools. You will never know though until what? You have a relationship with that person. Once you have a relationship with that person, then you'll know what could help them. And you can ask them what their needs are. They may surprisingly tell you, and it might be so amazingly cheap to you, but it might be so much of an overwhelming amount to them. It might be like how I feel when I think of something big. I was like, oh, I got to win the lottery first. <laughs> I got some lottery tickets now. As uh, Curtis Mayfield would say, back, back in the world. <laughs> oh, that's Thursday for the days. But anyway, guys, you see my coconut was wrapped inside of this little netting this plastic wrap and you see how they chopped up that coconut and they left it where you could easily open it they did have straws but my driver didn't get the straws because we were just getting the poor guy to run in the middle of the road at a traffic light so i could get my coconut because I like the coconut, the fresh coconut water. So anyway, guys, this is Coconut Conversations. <clears throat> coconut Conversations because I'm in the motherland, y'all. And I can get coconuts. Not all the time, but I can get coconuts. And this is the top. It was the seal. It's good, y'all. Very good. Yeah, I guess I'll just have to start recycling my straws. Let's see, that's how the inside look. It's top anyway. And that's the coconut water inside. So yes, it did have coconut water. Very good. Not too sweet. But definitely, you know, it's coconut water. I personally, in the Gambia, have to go to a special place. It's like a special roundabout. 
on the way to a uh, canopine south and right off of a uh, Carabar Avenue. It's like at the corner of Carabar Avenue and the Senate Gambia Road, you know, the road that leads to Senate Gambia. And they just stand there in the, in the evening time and they sell these coconuts for 40 delasi. And a 40 delasi is roughly 80 cents US dollars. Very nice though, y'all. I thought about the coconut conversations because I'd been having a, a conversations with the tea. And in the, in the US, I was doing the, the coffee conversations. But it's like, hey, only in the motherland that you can get real coconut conversations. Because in the US, number one, the coconuts that I get anyway, other than at the uh, farmer's market, it's too old to even have good coconut water. And even when I find one that's like this, it is so expensive that there's no way I'm going to be doing this coconut conversation, but, you know, once a year or something. But here, you can do it as often as you can get your coconuts. So the other day, I got a couple of them. I just decided to record this because I knew I'd have to take opportunity of my coconut because I it only can last so long without being, I guess, frozen that it was in my refrigerator. So I said, okay, let me just take care of that. But anyway, guys, I was thinking after having a conversation with one of my friends from the U.S. And one of the things you have to think about when you live here is housing, guys. You have to decide how much you want to spend for your housing and then have that money set aside because everything is cash here. And if you're not doing the Airbnb thing like me, where you can, you know, pay by so many months at a time. Most of the rent, people that rent to you will rent it to you for six months at a time, uh, all the way up to a year in advance. And that's, that's average and you pay paying cash for that. Some of them you have to have uh, your own furniture and some of them they have furniture available but it's, it's up to you, you know, it's always something. Then you have to think about what are you gonna do for internet? <clears throat> if you in a permanent place, you'll be able to get unlimited internet at, for a price, y'all, it's not cheap. <laughs> for a price, you can ask enough people and find a reputable company to actually come to your house and install the uh, broadband internet and you'll have internet that you can wi have Wi-Fi and have all your live streaming and that you want to do. So you can eventually have stuff like that. But anyways, you have to think of the logistics of everything. If you're going to ship your furniture here, or if you're going to just buy the furniture here, <clears throat> if you want to buy a home here, or if you want to get it built from scratch, are you going to buy land, or just be happy renting? All those decisions are something that you'll have to take into consideration. And as I always say, I suggest that you come and visit first. And Try to visit several countries if you can before you decide on a, a forever home because it's a big investment uh, getting all your land documentation properly. And uh, if you want to do your business online or maybe you're retired like me and so you decide that I'm fine that I can just use my retirement money and, and live comfortably here. It's up to you. You Only you know 
how your money is. But it's all amount of planning. I can't say that enough. It's planning. Please do not listen to the people who say, just come, just come. No. Plan first. <laughs> you have to have money when you get here. No social systems, period. None. There's nobody here holding your hand. Nobody. You're lucky if some people even answers the phone. So, please, have your funds available when you come. If you're going to be getting money wired to you, have money to last you until your wired money comes. If you're going to set up your bank account here, you have to realize you need a, a 10 number. And you have to, you know, just look online and see how you can apply for one before coming. Because me, I just went through my bank. But it took almost two weeks <clears throat> for me to get my bank account set up. So... I'm one of these people that I learn, I'm learning to go with the flow. <laughs> I did assess myself a lot of time to get things done because I'm allowing for people to want to do things on local time. <laughs> Where I come from is island time or CP time or whatever. <laughs> oh, I don't like to operate that way, but I'm not going to try to stress myself out and give myself a, any kind of issues physically or, me, or mental strain, <laughs> trying to change everybody. So I just work, I'm working on changing me. I'm so glad that a lot of y'all like hearing my little advice online and comments. I'm glad. And if I make y'all smile, good. Y'all make my day too. Y'all do. I'm glad that I have my Wi-Fi back. I'm using it at night. I'm uploading at night <laughs> for this camera. The other one, I have some supposed free Wi-Fi on it because it got data put on the on a wrong sim card and they gave me credit so i'm just using one phone during the day that has a local number and then this iphone is only for wi-fi at night and uploads <laughs> but i can make the videos during the day <clears throat> which i'm doing right now and i'll take a nap later on and then just upload it If y'all have any questions, please <clears throat> give them to me in the comments down below and I will answer them in a timely fashion. As usual, I always say, since I am not monetized anyway, I'm doing this because I love y'all. I got they love y'all. <laughs> and I'm just sharing my experiences and the motherland, the Gambia, right now in Banjul. And that's a, a section of the country. Even though the Gambia is so small, it looks like a big city to me. But anyways, not everything is so close. So just because I'm here doesn't mean that I'm seeing all of my family or all of my friends while I'm here at one time because it's just not possible, not while I'm trying to get certain things done. Be, you know, I will eventually get to see most of the people that I want to see. But anyway, guys, one, I hope that I get to see y'all in the Gambia one day. And I will, what? pay for our coconuts and we can sit down and have some coconut conversations and y'all can share y'all stories with me and I'll share a few stories with you.
and it'll be a good time had by all. That Farley Delasi, I got you. You hear me, guys? I got you. <laughs> so anyway, have a beautiful and blessed day. Smile more than not. Because I think it just helps to light up your spirit. And please, don't tell me nothing about my ideas about any spirit being however you feel about it. Because nobody's stealing my sunshine. No negative comments, no sarcasms, please. <laughs> for the love of the Creator. <laughs> I'm here for positive vibrations only. Positive. <laughs> I'm sending positive vibrations out to you. I expect positive vibrations back. <laughs> if you want to be negative, this is not the channel for you. <laughs> Just keep stepping. <laughs> keep stepping. Oh. Until next time, guys. Peace. Peace. <laughs> power to the people and subscribe if you have not it's free y'all <laughs> like share i'm out y'all bye